Okay, here. Try to go in front here. Comes, here comes a big one. Hungry fish. <laughs> oh, look, there's like an albino fish. Where? Oh, there. about to get out of the water and crawl up here. <laughs> oh. Hello fish. Beautiful. Hello Ooh. fish. Hello fish. I can get some more food. <laughs> Here's a monkey. Monkey butt, monkey butt. Hey monkey. I know. It just wants to show me its butt. <laughs> Little monkeys really playing up here. Yeah. The kid just took a nose dive into the concrete back there. Of course, I didn't get that on video. That's my luck. Hello, monkey. What do you have, monkey? What do you have? What is it? What is that? And this is a duck. You are native, aren't you? Yes, you are. Hello, duck. Hello, duck. Hello, nati native duck. And this is just a public service announcement. If you ever visit Florida, Stay away from water. Alligators and snakes may be present. And this goes for all fresh water. All fresh water. Stay away. In Espanol. And I'm sorry, this is just beautiful. It feels like I died and left the city.
And this is the water that you hear. It's actually a very large fountain. And of course, flamingos, it is South Florida. There are flamingos still on the island at Hialeah Park. If you ever watched or grew up watching Miami Vice, those are the ancestors of the original flamingos in the opening to the show. And we may show you those sometime. I've always heard that they get their color from their diet. Very interesting birds. Not native. Got some really big and old tortoises. It looks like they're feeding away and having lunch. Oh, did you hear that? Alright, here is the green iguana. These things are actually in the wild all over the place down here. Not native, but the climate does fit. I actually had one of these as a pet for over 25 years. Yes, believe it. And he was almost this big. They are a lot of upkeep. If you ever think about getting one, research but they do make great pets actually almost all reptiles do if you have the time and patience and this is the Burmese python it's a big one too looks like there's two of them smaller and large wow <laughs> I've never been a big fan of snakes as pets I've heard that they do make good pets but the Everglades are now infested with these. You know, the climate is wonderful for them and they are wreaking havoc on the ecosystem. So in captivity, if you can handle a 300 pound snake, that's fine. But don't let it out into the wild. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is a porcupine seeking refuge on a hot day. Porcupine just readjusted and is actually looking over at the camera. It's so hot out here. I don't know if this is actually a good environment for him, but I'm looking at the sign and Actually, their range is Central and South Africa, so I guess they're used to the heat. This is an African crested porcupine. And this is an American alligator in captivity. Still has ample space, I would say, but many times what they will do is take nuisance gators out of the wild and parks like this will actually provide them home so I guess that's better than making purses out of them at least they have a place to stay so yeah I'm an animal ad advocate and given the chance yes it will eat that bird they have a big children's area here with a petting zoo uh, full of goats. I like the little black goat, it's cute. But you can tell they are not digging the heat right now. Yeah, I'm not either.
Here's another up close and personal view of the alligator. And this is actually what they do in the wild. They are usually lower in the water than that. But that's why I, in Florida especially, you never walk too close to fresh water because they can jump practically their body length out of the water and grab you. And although American alligators are usually non-aggressive, there have been attacks, so it's just not a good idea. Now I am off to feed my giraffe. We are here, and just like every other five to seven year old, I am feeding a giraffe. Oh, you want some food? Expensive food. Yes, your food is expensive. Don't you? No. Well, that's okay. Oh, look at that tongue. Is that good? I got to touch you. I touched you a little bit. Yeah. If I die tonight or tomorrow, my life is complete. I can't afford any more food for you. That's expensive food. That's expensive. You're so pretty though. Yes, you're so pretty. Yes, you're very pretty. Yes, you are. You're pretty. Hang on. I think you're going to get more food. I think you're going to get more food. You got more food. There's some more food. Oh, look at that tongue. I think these giraffes are overfed. <laughs> some more food. You're gonna have to reach for it. Yeah, you gotta reach for it. You gotta work a little bit. Look at that tongue. You're beautiful. Oh, that's good. 